guys, my name's Caroline, obviously, and you know, welcome back to my channel. Whew, my breath. I hate having asthma because it's like literally killing me, and I had to turn off my air conditioning for this video, and it's so freaking hot in here right now, so I'm doing it for you guys. But yeah, I'm just going to be recommending you guys my favorite top 10 Netflix shows, and I hope you guys watch them because they're like really good, and I really want you guys to watch them, so you know, please watch them. There's like a literal fly buzzing in my ear right now and it's making me mad. I feel like a karate kid right now and be like, Watch out! Anyway, so enough with the theatrics. Let's just get on with this video. This first show I'm going to recommend you guys go and watch is pretty much a legend of a show. It's called Friends. It's basically about these six friends who are living in the same apartment building and they're living in New York and they're in their 20s and they're trying to balance work, life, love all in the same <laughs> freaking time, all the same freaking time and it's kind of difficult and they go through their ups and downs while making cracks and jokes in between. So this next show is has been around for a long time and it's called Grey's Anatomy. It's kind of out there, it's really dramatic, and the stuff that would never actually happen in the medical world. It's generally about the these uh, interns who are trying to become residents, and they don't know what they're doing, so they're having to follow residents and attendings around just so they know what to do in surgery, and they're trying to learn surgeries, and they actually find love at the hospital, and they're trying to keep it a secret, and it's just big dramatics and it's stuff that would never actually probably happen in a hospital but it's a really good show to watch okay this next one is kind of basic it's really obvious that you should go and watch it because it's all over the internet it's called riverdale and it's about these uh friends who go to the same high school together and they just discovered one of their classmates was murdered and they're trying to f solve the murder while finding love at the same time and trying to keep secret loves too. So be like, oh, he just had an affair with, you know, so-and-so. This next show has my heart and soul, but it's called Supernatural, if that wasn't obvious enough. It's about these two brothers who lost their mother due to one of these supernatural beings and their father raised them in this life. And they crisscross across the country trying to find these supernatural beings that killed their mother at, while killing other supernatural beings along the way like vampires, ghouls, wendigos. I know they're called wendigos but they're called wendigos. <clears throat> and it's kind of disturbing I have to admit because when I was first watching this I'm like oh my god they're chopping off people's heads. But after a while you're just like okay they're chopping off somebody's head so. Next show. Okay, so this one I've been watching it since my childhood. It's called Charmed. It's uh, about these three sisters who just lost their grandmother and they all come back to the same house where they grew up in and one of them reads an incantation and somehow they all get these powers and find out that warlocks and demons and all these sorts of people sorts of like supernatural beings are after them because they harness this uh, great gift called the power of three. Ooh, this one is like really good. It's called Young and Hungry. It's about this chef. Uh, she's a girl and she's broke and she's living with her roommate. They're both broke and they can barely keep their apartment together and all that stuff. She's a chef and she's trying to apply for this job to be this a billionaire's uh, personal chef. She gets the job and then she ends up sleeping with him on her first trial dinner. And it's funny, they throw like puns and crude puns and like innuendos in, in there and everything. So it's a really good show to watch if you're into that stuff. So this next show is really good if you uh, love like uh, relatable shows. It's called Gilmore Girls. This show is has been um, around since I was little. Um, it's um, about these two young women one of them is a mom one of them is the daughter and the mom had her the daughter really really young she was probably about 16 and then the daughter is now 16 so she's trying to find her way through 
her love life and high school at the same time and she meets this boy and all this stuff and the mom is dealing with her snooty rich parents and they're trying to convince Lorelai that she did everything wrong as a parent and stuff like that and they throw passive aggressive comments at her all that type of stuff and everything you don't want in a parent <laughs> Um, who are you talking to, sis? So this next show is uh, kind of disturbing. It, it's called Criminal Minds. It revo revolves around the FBI's BAU unit. They get invited by police and they have to determine what's the ethnicity of this uh, murderer. Um, why did he have these killings? Why did the killing start? What's their trigger? Stuff like that. And it's all part of the mind game of the killer so there are disturbing there are disturbing scenes and i do not recommend you watching it if you are um kind of sensitive to that it's pretty basic it's so unrealistic but it's called pretty little liars it's pretty much about these four girls who just uh, found out their friend had been murdered and they are trying to solve the murder but realize that they get, they get these texts from this person that goes by the code name of A, and A is sending them threats, threatening to tell their secrets, and these girls have a bunch, I mean a bunch of freaking secrets. This last one, it's, again, basic. It's, it's been on for a long time. It ended like two years ago. It's called The Vampire Diaries. So it's about these two brothers who happen to be vampires and they're going through sibling rivalry at the moment and they're fighting over a girl who who uh, happens to be the doppelganger of this girl they fell both fell in love with back in the 1800s when they were both human. One of the brothers likes to eat people and it's just crazy but it's intriguing, it's good, it's, it's just... It's just really crazy, but I like it anyway. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down below so you can be notified when I upload another video. And, yeah, I'm super excited to see what comes next for our little family. And let's just keep it growing. And I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Put it in five, I'll be up